How dare you say that? They're beating old men. Who is that? What do you want? We need to get into the sewers. We're looking for some levagrass shoes. Why? Why? Are we though? Got a death wish or something? That place is Monster Central, and it smells bad too. We need levagrass shoes to find the fourth crystal. Crystal, you you're the four warriors of light. But the four warriors, we're the chosen ones. Those four claim they are too. Say they're going into the sewers, then we'll beat them to the punch. Go, 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 the sewers, gentlemen. Hello. Get out of here, fucking Bar Luigi. Fuck. Fucking Mario Rejects. Get out. I'll show you the way into the sewers myself. Follow me. Oh, fuck. I hope they all die a horrible death. Get up the old man. <laughs> See this? Done. That easy, you dick. There we go, right in. Good luck. Find this stench. First things first. I'm a Viking, we're gonna pillage your crops. Good shit at, huh? Now you're hiding it. Keep it. Mom, why is that grown man running around in our suit? Shut up. What'd I tell you about being stupid? Did you end up watching Norseman show? Funny as hell. I don't find it funny. Humor was doing nothing for me. Watched the first episode and was whelmed. Need a, an old man I'm supposed to talk to. Well, it's just, it's... The jokes go on for too long. Like... When they come back, they land the boat, and he's just, like, insisting on hanging out with them. Like, that joke just went on for, like, far too long of them, like, keeping him at arm's length. I really, I really think what it is is the actors are just really fucking bad. It's the same fucking actors from Lilyhammer, and, like, they're trying to be funny now. Like, they're funny in Lilyhammer! But I don't know, I just think they're acting shit. Uh, oh, this guy's just telling me about. Tell me about the jobs. Um, yeah, I don't know. Put a chain on your ship to stop you from getting to his crystal. Old door. What's gold door? That gold door lock it down with a giant chain so it wouldn't go anywhere soon. Fuck. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think maybe the funniest thing in the first episode was like the fight they have at the end. That part was kind of funny. Um, but the way that the like the wife handled it, it was just it was bland. It was blank. She wasn't like. No, this sucks because now I have a new husband. Or like, yeah, I wanted to do the whole time. Like, she was like halfway on both sides. She was just being awkward, and it just didn't make any sense. Get a goal, but he's also afraid someone might steal them. I don't know. I like really, I like situational, intelligent, like complex humor. Um. That's really the only kind of humor that gets me to laugh anymore.
Can't cross the bottom of this unless you get love grass shoes. I think Delilah owned a few of those. You can find her in the... There we go. Like cops. Well, cops is funny because it's... <laughs> cops is fucking hilarious because that shit is real. <laughs> and that changes everything. Calm down. Ah! <laughs> it's some of the funniest shit. <laughs> but aside from that, like, that's why I like Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty, like, the jokes in there are, like, I don't mind crude humor. I like lowbrow humor, but, like, you have to think. It takes, like, half a second of you thinking to get the jokes in Rick and Morty, and that's fucking gold, and I love that. I love that about Rick and Morty. Um, but I like Scrubs. Scrubs was really good, like, situational, like, thought out jokes. It takes a little bit of intelligence. I hated Scrubs. I loved it. I also worked at a in a hospital at the time that I was watching it, so it was a lot more topical for me. Which I which I do know I give a lot of a lot of credit for it. Yeah, well, there's seasons where it's sappy romantic, but I mean it's maybe like a third of the entire series is sappy romantic. But they deal with like real shit too. But I liked it more than just a comedy. Uh, wait, so we got Giant Toad and Dark Lake. Damn, that guy went down easy. Did you lesson in? Yeah. I mean, I, I take that or leave it. I don't notice it. get that. Call it a hero shield? That thing's like a fucking star on his wrist. I love the characters in fucking in Scrubs. Their their characters were fucking. Yeah, I think if I was introduced to it after they got into the sappy stuff, because like the first season, any romance that's in there is just like trying to fit in romance, and like I'm just trying to find my place in the world, and like not like real heavy. But if I had gotten introduced to it when like it was in season five or six. I probably would have been a little bit more annoyed with it. Hey, you raised how you doing? Welcome back, man. But, uh, their character design, like Bob Kelso and Dr. Cox and the janitor, fucking just genius fucking characters. And fucking Ted, the fucking attorney, like, Jesus Christ. And the fact that they stick to the tropes and they really don't change it too much unless it really tells a good story. I really liked it. It was some funny shit. Yeah, we're doing good. We're knocking out our Final Fantasy Friday. Then, uh... I'm gonna let the servers... I'm gonna keep playing Final Fantasy until the servers on Dauntless have been up for about an hour, because it's probably gonna be a nightmare at first. I don't want to stream me setting out a fucking login screen trying to get in. 
So we're just gonna play it cool. We're gonna chill. We're just gonna keep working on Final Fantasy 3. And then uh, we'll jump over and we'll check out Dauntless, see what that 6, 8 gig fucking patch was. Is it already live? It's supposed to go live at noon. Which is in 10 minutes. Fucking jump the gun on that one. You guys don't even follow their own tweets. I figured, well, I mean, the servers were bad during the alpha. Um, so I figured with them moving over to the beta with so many more people getting involved, it would have had, had to have had, like, a really bad launch, but I guess not, huh? You won the second code, right? Akanite? So it ended up working? I was so blown away, I didn't know somebody was going to show up with a second code and offer it, and, uh... It would actually work. I was really concerned that like it was like a used code and they were trying to make me look bad so that's why I kind of prefaced it. Crazy! I am so blown away that that worked. That's cool. I have to do something to uh, make it right for uh, Belisarius, my mod. Because we legitimately did not I didn't do anything to cause two of my mods to win. Rebel Red, he went all in to make sure that he, he could win. So he, he spent a ton of runes, so I knew he would win one for sure. But when that second coach showed up, I was like, shit, both my mods win? That's, that sucks. And he whispered me real quick, and he's like, hey man, don't. He's like, give it to somebody else that's new. So I gotta find something. We'll do something for Billy. Maybe I'll give him something in uh, d and I'll give him like a six sword or something. Doing a little bit of farming before we go into these sewers because I gotta. I just changed this guy's job class to Viking. Because, you know. Video game Viking had to. Give him a glue horse. Scrape into a bag of holding. Fucking glue. I was gonna turn Mike's fucking horse into fucking glue. Cheating bastard. Nobody can afford a fucking horse and a full set of gear at level one. Ronnie. Look it up. I love you, Ronnie, but look it up, man. Like, all these questions. I don't have the answer for off the top of my head. I, I have it for that one. But I'm gonna have to look it up. It's just as easy for you to look it up. Why is it going so fast? It, I, I can hold down... I can hold down the right trigger and it goes fast forward. It allows me to farm and get the farming out of the way without it being super boring for the stream, so I fucking... I, I love it. I love that ability. Uh, we had this running joke in a previous campaign in the world that heroes turned, uh... Horses turned to glue when they were frightened. Was that it? I was just gonna... I was just gonna kill his horse. And then sell it back. And they're like, why would you sell back a dead horse? And I was like, for the glue. It spiraled. Yeah, it was when, it was, because the whole thing started when, uh, Harris was playing that rogue. And he took starting gold from two different things. You either get your starting gold from your class or you get it from your background. And he took both. And he had just so much fucking money. He completely, instead of taking, like, the pick this or this, this or this, he took the gold instead. And he outfitted himself with all that stuff anyways. Which if you do that, you should only have like 10, 20 gold left over. He outfitted himself and then still had enough left over to buy a horse. Because he said, oh, I took the noble background. And like, I went through and triple checked his math. And there's a rule in the book that says either take the money from your background. Or take the money from your class if you forego the 